What's up, y'all? All right, so if y'all been following me over the last year and a half or so, uh, you know that we've been working on out, out here in Chico, Texas, for a lady um, by the name of Miss Rena Turner. Uh, this project fell on our lap about two years ago uh, where we moved Miss Rena out of her house currently there. Uh, you can kind of see it in the background a little bit, kind of turning my camera, so... Uh, where our house was just completely condemned. Um, she is a 65-year-old, or sorry, I, she's going to kill me when I say that, 61-year-old uh, lady that we've met and uh, fell on some pretty hard times. And uh, it's been a blessing to be able to step in and help her uh, to build her a free home that she can retire in. And she doesn't have to deal with black mold. She doesn't have to deal with uh, rooms being completely taped off, electrical wires hanging out no plumbing, um, kind of a nightmare situation, especially for someone by themselves. And, uh, it's been pretty cool to uh, be a part of this and now we're finally done. So those of you who are watching, um, I'm going to let, try to get some more people on here real quick. If, uh, some people are watching this and I uh, appreciate you guys following. This has been a very emotional day, um, due to just how much blood, sweat and tears I've gone in this, um, and we are extremely blessed to just put this together for her and uh, let her be, let her live in peace. So it uh, looks like we got a couple more people joining. I appreciate it, you guys. I appreciate it. And uh, I'm ready to show you guys the grand finale. So stay tuned. Don't click off yet. The good part's coming, I promise. Um, there's a couple of people I'm sure I'm going to talk to along the way. So I'll let a little more, a couple more people get on here, but here we go. I'm going to show you guys. So if you guys knew anything about, I don't even know how to turn this damn thing around. Let me try and figure that out. So if you guys knew anything about this house, I'm going to show you kind of what it looked like before, which I will be posting pictures later on as well. Uh, um, how do you turn it? There it is. So this is pretty much a goat shed. It's on five acres out here. Uh, you can nothing but hay and crap. And there was a building down there, 16 by 32, and we hoisted it all the way up here. And we have built her a brand new home, an actual home, not a house, a home. We got a awesome 12 by 12 porch out here doors going in and out of her bedroom and to the kitchen gonna show you the outside real quick of what the stuff that's been done put up some custom trim for her skirting got electrical tied in plumbing tied in everything is ready to go fully functional I have a lot of people out here celebrating with us And for the good part inside, and if you've been watching us, you're probably, your jaw's going to drop by seeing what it was and what it is now. So this is the living room, kitchen. Got a custom island here. We actually used this tin from the property and polyurethaned it. So we have some very homey touches. We got a cedar top, three inch thick cedar top here that is custom made. Dallas white granite countertops with our galvanized tin backsplash. A double sink and if you, I wish I could show you guys her house currently because this is amazing compared to the condition she's living in. We have a a modern rustic ceiling, whitewashed with cedar beams going all the way across. We have a burned board on board wall here, custom made. I didn't really know what to put there for a long time and then uh, we made it kind of have a 3D effect. And uh, it's one of my more, my favorite parts. This is the bedroom. We have dark oak wood floors. And these doors go, when she wakes up, she can open the door. 
You go right out to our porch. The lake is about 200 yards that way, as you can see it there in the kind of the background. So definitely an awesome view to wake up to compared to what she had. We have uh, a laundry room back here. So has a little, some finishing touches we have to do, but nice 80 gallon water tank that she can enjoy washing her dogs and herself, of course, and have plenty of hot water to do so. This is more, oh, I actually think someone's in the bathroom right now. We're gonna wait just a second. Kind of let you guys see everything that's still going on. That's Miss Rena. Watch y'all. Miss Rena, you don't have to talk too much, but you are Facebook Live. This is my adoptive grandmother. She thinks that she's bad hair right now, but no. She is my world right here. And my amazing sister that has helped me along the way. Is there anybody still in that bathroom? Or uh, Sorry, we have, do have a party going on right now, so... Oh, okay, they're out. So, this is the bathroom. That she she has a rheumatoid arthritis, so she has a uh, an actual bathroom now that she can enjoy and not have to lift her leg up really high from a standard tub. Um, something that... You know, I know there's probably some people looking at this like, oh, it's not the best thing in the world, but... If you knew anything about this project, that we literally started from a goat barn that we ripped down all the way to the to the bottom, and uh, now it's a fully functional house. So we uh, very blessed to be able to give this to her. I'm blessed for the uh, company that I own. I'm not bragging on myself, but there's a lot of workers, and you know who you are: Van Scott, Christopher Gurley, Trevor Hess. Hector Contreras, Brandy Pollen, JC, I'm sorry, Brandy Hutzel, JC Hutzel, even Jason here. Um, every one of you, I appreciate you putting in your hard work and helping us get get this thing uh, to where it is. It's uh, It's been a blessing and I'm honored to have the people that work for me to make this thing come together and make this, make Miss Serena feel as blessed as she does today. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in and please share, please like. Um, we want to be able to continue to do this and we can't do it without your help. This one was, uh, a lot of donated money by, um, some very close friends and family and myself. And, uh, we want to be able to do this for many people. Um, it's just a really good thing. There's no strings attached to it. There's nothing that I earned from this or anybody else. We came out here on our weekends, um, with some good, good, awesome people. And, uh, we're able to th put this thing together. And uh, we're absolutely blessed to be able to come together and, and, and just circle around good family and good friends and good volunteers. I appreciate all you guys. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, you guys have a blessed weekend. Have a good work week.